Oh, to have lived in the golden days of the kingdom of the heart. When a princess, discovered by a pea, established a kingdom of honor and goodness. But, alas, later generations turn to pride, selfishness, greed, and war. Oh, so much knowledge was lost until good King Wyndham restored peace and encouraged the search to recover the wisdom of the old ages. Now, the last chapter will close on Wyndham's reign and a new one. <laughs> oh, pin feathers. No, oh, Grandpa Stonebeak. Tomorrow, the greedy Prince Laird will be made king, and I fear all will be lost. It is rumored that the Crown Prince, young Rolo from the faraway kingdom of Avea, even now rides to the coronation. But it may not matter. Already, many now believe that the legends of the old kingdom are nothing more than fairy tales. The year smells fresh and clean. What a lovely day. Never has there been a more pleasant month of May. Weeds need a whacking. It's time to get cracking and greet the morning. The Listen to them, Helsa. Dragons of society singing, dancing. How disgusting. You're so right, Laird. It's ruining my appetite. Tomorrow I will rule the kingdom. Then we'll see what they have to sing and dance about. Prince Rollo! Come on, boys, get busy. The honey's money. Sebastian, where are you? Meet Prince Rollo of Arvea. I brought something for you. Is it important? Like a treasure map, maybe? Oh, my. A history of the old kingdom woven into a tapestry. It's our legend of the pea and the princess and our coat of arms. <laughs> Remarkable. It says, to reveal the princess of true nobility, place the pea 20... Twenty... Twenty what? The tapestry is torn. You mean my treasure map is all about girls? No, marrying girls. Ugh. Oh, dear. There is a warning. It says here that 
If the key to the pea is lost, the kingdom will end during the reign of the 18th king. But that will be Laird. It takes a man who knows his mind, my little pumpkin. A true leader to put people in their place. Not once Sniveller, short of Nero, ever got to be a hero in the history of the human race. There's just one way to get your subjects to respect you. When they say they want a steak, you give them gruel. Though I know my manner seems a trifle shrill, still, that's what it takes to rule, my pet. That's what it takes to rule. <laughs> You've got to have a flair for all the latest fashion. You must devour each silver cape and silken vest. For when you're out attending weddings, public bludgeons and beheadings, it's important that you look your very best. And when the rabble whine because you've taxed them senseless, and they whimper, oh, how could you, oh, how cruel, you simply flash them with that 20 carat smile. Style! That's what it takes to rule, my dove. That's what it takes to rule. Excuse me, sir. Don't think me rude. But I take issue with your selfish attitude. What? A proper king is born to serve. Oh, uh, listen, Halsa, isn't he sweet? Of all the conceit! The nerve! You must have vassals building castles fit to please you. Velvet walls and curvy servants by the score. Crystal goblets, silver dippers, fish with diamonds in their flippers, one big royal jingle jangle candy store. What's it all worth when there are families cold and hungry? Oh, my bleeding-hearted friend, you are a fool. There's only one thing separates us from the trash. Cash! That's what it takes to rule, young Buck. That's what it takes to rule. I disagree. I think you're wrong. What? A royal palace is the last place you be. Were you little? The king's no king. Not unless he cares. I've got no business ruling anyone. But, 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 but you, you... Don't dare say another word to me. You should be king. He does. When I'm crowned, I'll have you hung, drawn, and quartered. And I'll squash your measly kingdom like a bug. Let me advise you like a wise and loving father. Don't father. To suck those suckers dry is what you're prejudiced. That isn't true, sir. What do you know of life? You're just a kid. I must be going. My goodness, see, you see what he did? Volcanoes blowing. Nay. Now, Laird, behave. I've had enough. You're not so tough. Prepare to die. Just try. Destroy. Oh, boy. Take that. My head. The height. Good night. Come back, you puny pestquick. You mangy mule. It's gold. Gold. That's what it takes. Laird! Laird! If it wasn't for that stupid old rule that the oldest is crowned king. Actually, the law of the father states that the first son to enter the coronation room shall be crowned king. But Laird, being eldest, always enters first. Where are they? Where are they? Laird? I can't find my shoes! But... You have lots of shoes. Obviously, you've never read Dressed for Succession. I must be crowned in my golden shoes. You threw your shoes at me last night in the coronation room, remember? <laughs> I can't be seen barefoot. What about your brother? That's it. He fetched my shoes immediately. But... As your future king, I command it. Come on, Heath! And little brother, don't let anything stop you. you lad. Go in. Go in, Heath. I can't. Everyone's in there, waiting for Laird to come. What did your brother say to you? Don't let anything stop me. I think you stopped. 
Go on, lad. <laughs> what a handsome despot you make. with the laws passed down to me by my fathers, I'll crown you, Heath, king of all the realm. No! <gasps> I'm the rightful heir! The crown and kingdom belong to me! I'm sorry, lad, but... It's all in accordance to the laws. The first son to enter shall be king. I sent you for my shoes. Not my kingdom! <laughs> Stop whimpering. <laughs> Lad, remember, Heath, you are king now. Lad, you are my brother, and I love you. And. What I do for you is in your best interest. I assign you rule over the pig kingdom. Pigs! <laughs> yes, all of you! I will have revenge. Golden shoes will never leave my feet until I have regained that which is rightfully mine. There goes my brother, Lad. I wouldn't expect anything less. Do you think Lad will have a change? I don't know about that, but change is inevitable, Your Majesty. Your Majesty? To you, I'm husband, sweetheart, confidant. And soon. Father. What do you mean? It's a baby blanket, silly. You mean I'm... we're... Your kingdom is growing already. <laughs> Nine months I've sweated and grunted and groveled in the mud with the pig farmers and their beasts. My golden shoes are tattered and torn. <laughs> everything I try, every plot, every intrigue, thwarted. It's over. I might as well take off the shoes. Come in. His Majesty, King Heath, proclaims a day of mourning. His beloved wife, Queen Mariana, died today, giving birth to a baby girl. A girl? Did the baby live? Yes, my lord. I wish to uh, send my brother a message of uh, condolence. Dear Heath, since the news of the untimely passing of your sweet wife, we experienced tragedy in the sudden death of our own firstborn daughter. 
Elsa has taken our loss in the worst way possible. I would be forever in your debt if you would allow her to nurse and help raise your child. We've had our disagreements in the past. Perhaps this could make things right. Ever your brother, Laird. Now, remember, you lost the baby. Invent some disease. I'll take my secret passageway through the dungeons and meet you tonight at midnight. Meanwhile, I must see my cobbler about a new pair of shoes. One head, all, two eyes, two ears, one nose, one mouth. Here now, what are you doing with your moth-eaten books around the princess? My job as court historian, and my books are not moth-eaten. Ah! Shoo, shoo, shoo. Uh, besides, what do you want? Color, pink. That is no way to talk. Two and three quarter weeks long. <laughs> <laughs> to the bird that limb notes two arms that recently saved the uh, two hands uh, kingdom from <laughs> its doom. <laughs> Ten fingers, very strong. Then you've solved the mystery of the pea, have you? Not exactly, but footnotes. Ten little piggies. <laughs> uh, toes. I put Heath on the throne. With a little help from young Master Rollo. Uh, one birthmark, heart shape, left foot. <laughs> but the reign of the 18th King hasn't ended yet. I'd get busy, Mr. Scholar. Done. Oh, you! Out! Out! And don't forget this dirty old thing. Heath, you have an adorable daughter. I brought this. Look, it's Daddy. Hi, baby. Would you like to hold it? Oh. Your mother made this blanket. I can't wait to tell you all about her so you can grow up to be as kind and loving as she was. Sleep, my little princess. What a ghastly journey. We're all sorry you lost your baby. Yes, dear. It must be hard. Oh. Oh, yes. The, um, lumbago got her. Oh. It, it was a trial. Very sad. We appreciate you coming. It will ease my burden. Oh. Just make sure I get four square meals a day. Plus snacks. for you losing the throne. An injustice has been done to me. I intend to change that. Would you deny our daughter her rightful place? Shh. Elsa? Elsa? <sighs> What's happening? Is everything okay? Uh, it's it's just the baby fussing. <sighs> Maybe I was having a bad dream. <laughs> Good night, then. Yes. Good night. If he thinks he's having a bad dream tonight, just wait. If you raise our daughter right, she'll be proud. And spoiled. Ambitious. And spoiled. Greedy. Spoiled, just, just like, like me. me. And most of all, she'll be a torment to my brother Heath. Plague will deliver messages between us. Now, give me the baby. Promise you won't harm her. No. I'm still her aunt. I promise. Give her to a good family. I know just the one. <laughs> hey, 
I'm coming. And it's not healthy. Daria! Where's our breakfast? Oh, it's cooking, stepmother. You, you wanted duck eggs. It, it takes time to find them. Then get shaky. Sorry. <laughs> well, my little turtle dove, shall we get up today? Oh, maybe we should get up this week. Let me check my joints. They sound better. Let's get up. Here's your breakfast. Later. <laughs> we work our fingers to the bone and no pickle jelly. Why do we ever take you? We're getting paid to keep her, remember? Not enough. Here it is another day. Trying hard just to carry on. Bring me my breakfast. Sweep up the floor. That's all I hear night and noon. Sometimes I want to run away, but this is where I'm born to be. So why do I keep wondering if there's something more for me down the meadow? As the ravine does the grass grow greener than. dreamed of out in the wide open world somewhere there's a miller's son just as handsome as anything white ribboned ladies parade in the square longing to cling to his arm look at me just a peasant girl Destined to cling to her plow. So why do I keep feeling he's waiting for me now? Down the road there, just round the bend, is there somewhere? I'll find a friend. Are there people loving each other out in the wide open world? Why dove in the sea? Sky. I've got apples and berries to give you. Wherever it is you fly, I'd be so overjoyed if you'd take me with you. Love where freedom awaits far beyond these fences and gates. No more sorrow, only tomorrow. The me that's inside Out in the wide open world It's all right It's all right It's not all right It's never all right around here Silver and opals Yuck! I only wear diamonds and gold The occasional ruby or emerald now and then Hildegard this was your mother's ring. She wanted you to have it when you turned 18. Don't talk to me about my mother. Ah! How tall is my portrait? Ten feet, my lady. What a vulgar size. It must be 25. No. 35 feet high. B -b but the ceiling, it is only 18 feet high. <laughs> well, then raise the ceiling. Hildegard, that portrait is the same size I as... I know, my mother's. I wanted to put you side by side. She would have liked that. I've told you, I don't want to hear about my mother. I don't care what she did or how she lived. I'm the royal princess. And I want my portrait bigger than everyone's! You were right today. A true princess mustn't take no from anyone. <laughs> take this to Laird and come right back. 
Don't bite your pretty nails, dear. Sometimes you act like my mother. Sebastian brought you 20 feather beds. <laughs> From friends of his, he said. His fine feathered friends? I hope they pluck themselves bald. <laughs> Good morning, Your Majesty. Guess what I found? <sighs> Don't want to guess? <laughs> Listen to this. To find the heart of true nobility, place the pea 20 mattresses deep. 20 mattresses? How about that? What am I to do with Hildegard? There's got to be a meaning to the mystery, to the riddle. There has got to be a clue. How on earth can it be that a pea such as ye can perform the kind of magic that you do? Is there something in your vapor that becomes unleashed when encountering a fuzzy feather bed? Do you buzz? Do you glow? Tell me, how do you know when a noble lady rests her head? My silent little friend of green, I know you know the answer. There's a weighty obligation on us. A kingdom that depends upon us. Won't you help me in the name of science to throw a little light my way? If I set you down upon a wooden tabletop and I rubbed you like the belly of a frog, would you play me a tune? Jump around like a loon or just lay there like a lump upon a log? Is there something in the makeup of your chemistry, some amazing little message at the core? I would risk beacon wing to uncover the thing if I only knew what I was looking for. My brain is over-amping now. My cells are fiercely frying. It is a purpley potion. Maybe this will get the wheels in motion. If I shook you like a mystic milk cake, would you finally reveal the key? I think I feel a tiny rumble. Something happening here. Getting louder, growing stronger. Can it be? Now the fire is lit. Here we go. This is it. Oh, Grandpa. Is there something you can do to release me from this stew? I have got to find the secret of the bee! You're out of practice. Hard to tell who's the man and who's the dummy. Would you like to show me, sir? Call me the Questing Knight. 
on guard. By the way, people don't seem very happy in your kingdom. Oh, yeah? I've been distracted with domestic troubles. Is that why you're here? No, no, I quest for sweet beauty. They're of the single feminine type, with whom to retreat into marital bliss. Mmm, pea soup. Rolo! Hi, Sebastian. Mm, still working on your love potions, I see. I'll have you know that that pea soup may, may someday save the kingdom. Rolo. Hi. Ah! Sebastian's been telling me about the birds and the peas. <laughs> Rollo of Arvea, the questing knight. Then you are looking for a wife. A beauty whose kingdom is powerful, strategically located, and rich. Oh, so Laird is right. It does take gold to rule. Whatever happened to that young, idealistic Prince Rollo I used to know? Oh, it's just, you know, politics. My advisers say we want an alliance, the union of two strong kingdoms. And what do you want, Rolo? Uh, I'd like someone kind and good like your Mariana was, of course. May she rest in peace. But maybe I can have my mate and treaty too. Ah, listen to that, Grandpa Stonebeak. Ah, I keep forgetting you've been replaced. Ooh la la, I'd like to see more of her. That will be hard. By royal command, her portraits are everywhere. Oh, well, what about her availability? Dowry? Tell him the truth, Heath. She's a brat. A spoiled, selfish brat. Mm. I'll tell you who to marry if you'll just wait until I finish my research. You still believe in that legend of the pea stuff? Like I say, never underestimate the power of a... <laughs> Never underestimate the power of a vegetable. You go, Fearless. Now stay out of trouble while I go get my bucket. <laughs> Princess Hungry Star. A little water never hurt anyone. Where's Fearless? Enhancing model. Oh, it emphasizes your high cheekbones. Ah, oh, no, there's a lovely sight. Oh, you're so kind. A tender lass talking to her animals. Tis a magical picture. Magical? Strange, I'd say. Spooky, I'd Jerry. say. As if them pigs is human beings. Come on now. What a refreshing night's sleep. Oh! Look, Elsa, he is handsome. And he's heir to a large kingdom. A rich kingdom? Extremely. I'll take him. What do you say, Heath? Where shall I look for my wife? You there! I've decided to have you. But, but to have me? Hildegard, that's not how it works. Hildegard! You want a wife. Oh, it's true. And I want you. Sebastian, 
Arrange the details of the merit. I will expect a wedding veil 20, no, 30 feet long, a golden tiara with 12 diamonds arranged in a... Fly, Rollo! Fly like the wind if you wish to escape the storm. I, I, I have to wash my sword. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm allergic to diamonds. Uh, I mean, um, I, I'm late. Ugh, for a quest. Goodbye. What? I'm the royal princess! Come back and face the wedding music like a man! Guards! After him! Hildegard! Bring my coach! I'll stop Prince Rollo myself! Hildegard, stop! I command you! <sighs> We'd better go after her, Your Majesty. For the sake of the kingdom. An honor to have you come high, your highness. <laughs> I, I mean, by your highness. A true honor. And... Help me out, peasant. Oh, certainly, my lady. Oh, an honor. A true blooming honor. <laughs> Down. Truly an honor. My back is your. Oh, my back. Huh? You're the royal princess. Out of my way, you sniveling poppin' jay! <gasps> Laird! Oh, what a trip! All that bouncing! Woohoo! Ghastly! What am I? A piece of cheese? Elsa! She's wonderful! <laughs> she wants to marry Prince Rollo. <laughs> Marvelous! She just needs a few lessons in deceit and hypocrisy. It takes honey to catch some flies. What are you doing? Your horses are very thirsty. I'll decide <gasps> if they drink. They're here to serve me. Tonight you may tell her our secret. Meanwhile, I have a little matchmaking to do. <laughs> Hildegard, wait! Wait! You can come out now, Prince Rollo. <laughs> I've stabled your horse and prepared a bed for you. Thanks, Laird. I never knew you could be so nice. No. Oh, you can thank Heath. Since living with the pig people, I've learned a lot about appearances. Take Princess Hildegard, huh? Poor girl. She's had a hard life. Always having to measure up to her mother's memory. She's really a shy, sweet, sensitive, humble girl. I want <laughs> You are our daughter. Born in the pig! Kingdom? How vulgar! Now we can work together. The kingdom shall be ours. Same direction as that bear. Hello? We better warn them. <laughs> Which way does she go, Sir Wendell? Stay here with the horse.
Hello? Maiden, please come back. There's a bear on the loo! Stay back. I've got a sword here. Somewhere. Nah. Aha! Baltazar! Stealing fish? There's more than enough for everyone. Go on now. Shoot! Remember, Balthazar, <laughs> you're still the only bear in my life. Did you really expect to scare a bear with a pickerel? <laughs> I expected to save your life, but instead you saved mine. In your debt, my lady. Oh, I'm not a lady, and Balthazar wouldn't hurt anyone. He just makes a pig of himself sometimes. No offense, princess. You're beautiful. Did you hear that, princess? He thinks you're beautiful. Princess? I'm Prince... I mean, um, I'm Rollo. Hello, hungry. I know what you want. And this is... Oh, where's Fearless? There you are. Come out and meet our guest. This is Fearless. <laughs> uh, I wanted to give him a name to oh, live up to. It hasn't worked yet. Well, this is some place you've got here. It's my place. My secret place. At least it used to be. Don't worry. It'll be our secret place. I've never had anyone to share a secret with. Would you... Show me around? Will you promise not to tell? <laughs> Cross my heart. This is marvelous. I'll show you my favorite place. Sometimes when I'm here, I imagine a kingdom where everyone is kind and good. to play his part in 
to go. But what about... I'll be back. Oh, oh she's so, so... Uh, uh, and did you see her? And isn't she just the most... the most... What am I saying? She's a peasant. your quest. In the name of science. We extend a hearty greeting for our hearts are in a whirl at the prospect of your meeting a precious baby girl. You try to raise her right, hoping someday someone might see a pleasing little reason for our nations to unite. She's a fragile sort, our Alice, so we've kept her free from strife. Never had a wart or callous, never labored in her life. She is the most pure and pristine, dainty flower you've ever seen. May we proudly, proudly introduce, introduce you to your, your darling future queen. She's the one, she's the one, she's perfect. So perfect in every way. Her lips, her hair beyond compare. She flows, she glows, she walks on air. My advisors, I'm sure, would agree. She's the perfect princess for me. Too much, too flat, too soon, now pat. To the right, now switch. Oh, my goodness, quickly, quickly, eat, eat, eat! Isn't she adorable? Growing bored. Amuse. Dark hard. You lose. Pastry up. Apply glaze. Fool. Good help is hard to find these days. <laughs> Mash! A perfect combination. What a happy pair they are. Eat. Twenty close of jubilation. May the union take them far. Far away from us. Only twenty-seven floors. Time to get down on all fours. Oh, pardon me, your grace, but I believe that this is yours. I will search the land and sea to find the perfect princess for me. We've heard about your mission, and we've come to lend a hand. For our daughter's disposition is the fairest in the land. So divide if she get gloom, she, she can light up any room. Such a perky catch a joyous match for any lucky groom. She's the one, she's the one, she's perfect. So perfect in every way. Her eyes, her chin, her flawless skin In a gown that would set any crown a spin 
from a sound and renowned family tree. She's a perfect princess for me, Milady. Loosen up jacks and get the party going. It looks like you need a little smile. You gotta kick off your shoes, be a goodbye to the blues. Cause that's all you here for just a while. There's nothing like a good joke to give your sides a shake. And nobody shakes them like Cherie. So put your hand in my hand. Say ciao to the bland. Hey, think how much fun it will be. Ever after in laughter, my dolly, Rolly, and me. Got your nose. <laughs> he's cute, he's cute, I like him! Yahoo, over here! Where's he going? Can she be the girl for me? Say goodbye to my lady waiting. Farewell to my foolish dreams. Not a chance for romance, so oh, it seems. Don't despair. Another door lays before us. Never know what you'll see. She's the perfect princess for me. Where's my buttermilk bag? I guess it's harder to fall in love than I thought. There's that peasant girl you always talk about. Yeah. I can't trust my heart. I've got to use my head. And I'll learn the secret of the pea if I have to read every book in my library. Sebastian, you're back. I arrived last night. And how goes the quest? Awful. There's nothing in these books. Rollo's in love with some peasant girl. He is? Twittering like a lovebird. She's so beautiful. She's so kind. With eyes like this. And lips like that. He never stops. I simply must find the answer to the pea. I have a message you must take to Rolo. I'm a scholar, not a messenger. I don't know who else I can trust. There seems to be a spy in the castle. Is it that important? I'm going to disinherit Hildegard. If Rolo will marry the peasant girl, I will make him my heir and give them my kingdom. Stop, Sebastian, however you can, and take the message to Laird. <laughs> I failed Heath. I failed Rolo. Where did I go wrong? <laughs> oh! Wait now, Plague. Oh. What would Grandpa Stone Beak say? Uh, rule one, fly a weaving. Rule two, never fly in the trees. Altitude! I need altitude! Ha <laughs> I lost that overstuffed harpy! <laughs> Brains will always triumph over. <laughs> All these painted, 
powdered, pampered, pedigreed princesses? Why do we call them noble? Take them out of their fancy clothes and put them on, say, a pig farm. And what would you get? Exactly. Whiny women. And I don't need Sebastian's pee to see where I'm barking up the wrong tree. <coughs> Royalty, nobility. <laughs> All glitter and gold on the outside, but inside, we're hollow. We're hollow. I must see Daria again. Some things are more valuable than all the kingdoms in the world. What's this? So, Heath wants to disinherit my daughter and give that pig girl and Rollo my kingdom. It's time for the pig family to disappear. <laughs> Dear citizen, as your lord, my concern for your welfare is unbounded. We have had a terrible drought in our region. Streams are drying up. The rain clouds will not come. Crops are dying. Some evil in our midst has brought this upon us. It is a person. Who could it be? Not me. A person brought among us by two of our own. Oh, uh, we've done uh, nothing. Every day you do nothing, and yet you prosper. Money from heaven, hidden gold. But it isn't just the two of you. Look over there. She's different. She talks to animals. She's the cause of our suffering. Don't understand. Our vegetable gardens and We have enough to eat. I'd have something. We must free our land of this evil. She's in there, guarded by a bear. Fool! Have you no imagination? Throw in your torches! I tried so hard to be nice to everyone, to make our kingdom of the heart right here. But no one wants to listen. I may have to stay right here forever. <laughs> they couldn't! <laughs> this is my place! <laughs> there! Prince Roland? Oh, it's awful. Awful! I try to stop them. But... Is anyone in there? Mm, the poor peasant girl. Her and the three piglets. I think she was called... Where there's smoke, there's usually fire. I'd better get out of... Yeah. It's her. The princess and the pea. Dear lady, can you tell me the secret of the pea? Daria! Daria! Oh, my. 
to reveal the heart of true nobility, place the pea 20 mattresses deep. The princess true is love and sensitivity. Mm -hmm. Upon such, she can never sleep. <gasps> That's it. It's so simple. The truly noble heart is so sensitive to people's needs and their heartaches. Of course! <laughs> it's in the princess, not the bee! <laughs> oh, it's in the princess, not the bee! It's in the princess, not the bee! <laughs> Sebastian! Have you seen Daria? Who? <laughs> I've got to get you out of here! <laughs> Daria! What did he say, Your Lordship? Uh, Hildegard. Yes, he said Hildegard. <laughs> Prince Rollo wants to marry Princess Hildegard. <laughs> Thank goodness you're all right. I thought I might lose my future son-in-law. Uh -huh. Everyone's so excited about the news. Well, what news? Why, that you want to marry Hildegard, of course. I said that? Oh, my head. You remember? Mm -hmm. I heard it from your own lips. Oh. Isn't it wonderful, Rolo? Oh. She's become everything I wanted her to be, just like her mother. <laughs> but... What happened to... I'm afraid the peasant girl is dead. I've started the wedding preparations. We'll start the ceremony the very moment you can get up from this little bed. Where's Sebastian? The poor bird. He's gone cuckoo. <laughs> It's in the princess, not the pea. It's in the princess, not the pea. It's in the princess, not the pea. <laughs> our breakfast. I'm sorry, but you'll have to get your own breakfast. <gasps> oh, it's a cruel world out there. You'll never survive. Oh, it has been we're going to have to get up today, stickly boy. Nobody's going to give you nothing! <laughs> you don't know how to take! How's my Poor little cuddle bunny today. Hmm? Oh. The wedding preparations are almost done, sweetie. We could get married right now. Oh. Wake up. I need your counsel. Please, Sebastian. Oh. Hmm. Maybe I should marry Hildegard. She has changed. Duty, honor, kingdom. What can I do? Once there was a light here, now it's gone forever. Gone forever. How blind was I to say goodbye? To one so warm and pure Everything I She was all I lived for If be. only I had told her What's left If for only me. I could hold her In these lonely arms once more I would gladly I would give, give my life Meet death without fear If for just Where 
the stars above have lost all their shine. Merry music never born to be mine. Where am I to roam now? How am I to start? No more going home now To my kingdom of the heart Charles, you and your piglets. Oh. Oh. Sasha, thank goodness you're back. The wedding starts in ten oh. minutes. Oh, Mark, Mark, it's too terrible to contemplate. Oh, what else could possibly go wrong today? Oh, Sebastian, what in the name of sanity are you doing out of bed? I know the secret of the pea. It only needs to be tested scientifically. You crazy bird. The wedding begins in five minutes. What do you mean? Rollo is about to marry the monster. Hildegard? Do you mind if I lay down? Oh, dear. What could we possibly do now? What about the pea? The prophecies, all my work, I'm ruined. You'd think you were marrying Hildegard. Use your brain. What could I do? He's made his nest. Now he'll have to feather it. Oh, then nobody can save him. Wait. We can't test the pea. Nothing. I just can't sleep here. There seems to be something under the mattress. I don't mean to be so sensitive. It worked! It actually worked! Oh, your majesty. He's crazy. Round the twist again. Let me be the first to congratulate you. Huh? This is incredible. Could it be? I must verify this. It's in the princess, not the pea. <laughs> it's in the princess, not the pea. <laughs> Completely round the twist. <laughs> Head notes, body notes, uh, ah, footnotes. Let's see. Birthmark in the shape of a heart left foot. That girl is not only a true princess, but the princess. I must stop the wedding. Ah, 
Ah, Sebastian. <laughs> you always stick your beak in where it's not wanted. Take care of this. I'll find the pig girl. Sorry I can't stay, but my daughter is about to tie the knot. <laughs> come, come. We're late. But, Daddy, the prince is in trouble, and no one's going to save him. Oh, poor Rollo. She's an imposter. Your daughter had a heart-shaped birthmark on her left foot. Ask Hildegard to show you hers. I suppose the little pea told you all this. Go ahead, dear. <laughs> See? But, but, but I, I don't understand. I, I was so sure. Resume the ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> I was right. Hildegard is not your daughter, Heath. Ah. <laughs> ah, the pig's out of the bag. Fearless? Princess? Hungry? But if you are here, then... Heath, your daughter is... Right here! <laughs> Let me go! Take another step, and she goes over the side. <laughs> Helser and Hildegard, come to me. I'm coming, I'm coming. No! Hildegard. Lad, where is your conscience? You're so predictable. Play! Say goodbye to your future son-in-law. Rollo! <laughs> what a tragic accident. <laughs> At this time of sorrow, I sadly proclaim myself king and denounce this girl as an imposter. Wrong again, brother. The kingdom! Let my daughter free! My reign was short but glorious. Rollo! I'm coming! <laughs> Where do they go, Winthrop? <laughs> It's a secret passageway. Come on, everyone. Push. Follow me exactly. Don't step anywhere but where I step. Please let me go. I haven't done anything to you. Silence. Do you want to get us killed? Let me have her. I'll scratch her eyes out. I have to find the right passageway. Father walled up the dungeons when I was a boy, but I found a secret passage. To amuse myself, I created booby traps. Don't panic. A few more steps. Oh, this is ruining my appetite. Ooh, they're coming, lad. Closer. 
just a little kiss. One more step. It's a trap! Don't come! No! You ruined my trap! You... You... With pleasure. <laughs> Rollo! Oh. <laughs> it's all right, Fearless. It's all right. And after our Winthrop. No, 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 Rollo. You think nobility means who you're born to be. But, uh, that it means you can push people around or take their money. I know, but... You think kindness is a weakness. A small weakness. Well, you're wrong! I'm a wretched creature! Come and take me. <laughs> as gullible as he. <laughs> Stop! All you ever wonder is pig girls have wings? <laughs> Plague! Finish him! Not this time, Buster! Don't be too hard! Warrior in me, after all. <laughs> oh, do I have to do everything myself? <laughs> no! Look out, Daria! Ruin my wedding, would you? <laughs> We make a great team. Yes, we do. And you feel us a real hero. <laughs> Let go of my hand, you dodgy hound! Let go of my hand! Do you understand, my... Meet your daughter, Daria. Oh, father! <laughs> I have a father. Oh, father. My dear father. You look so like your mother. What was she like? Do you really want to know? Yes. Every detail. I'll tell you all about her. <laughs> After the wedding. This looks like the beginning of another golden age. As I always say, never underestimate the power of a vegetable. And never underestimate the power of a pure heart.
it seems my fondest dreams have faded all from view. There's a place I go to, you'll be sure to find me. Turning every storm cloud a lovely sky of blue. Sensitive and small. 